Okay, I'm just going to run through, um, first of all, sketching a straight line that is not, ver that is not um, sloping, but is horizontal. Okay, so let's just say we, um, on here, okay, that's one, two, three, minus one, minus two, minus three, one, two, three. So if you could draw one of these up into your book, that would be good. Okay, so basically, um, let's just look at this. All right, if I draw a line through here, let's see, I've drawn a line through two. If you look at any point on that line, let's just say this one here, the coordinates of that point are zero, two. If you look at this one here, you go across one and you go up two. The next one would be across two and up two. The next one would be across three and up two. Um, if we went to the left here, this one here would be across one and up two. Okay. Do you see a pattern happening here? Across two and up two. Okay. Have a close look at those coordinates. There's something that's common in every single one of those coordinates. And if you look at that, if you look at the y value, did you get that? Yep, the y value is always equal to 2. So y is always equal to 2. So let's just look at another um, look at another line. Uh, let's just draw one through here, okay? Now, if you look at that one there and you look at any point on there, a very similar thing is going to happen. See, that point's um, 0 minus 3. This point here is 1 minus 3, 2 minus 3, 3 minus 3. So what's happening here? Yeah, minus 1 minus 3. So if you look at those, what's actually happening? The y value is always 3. So the equation of that line, oh, it's not 3, sorry, minus 3. The equation of that line is y equals minus Okay, so basically any line that is horizontal wouldn't matter where you drew it as long as it wherever it cuts the y-axis like that one cut at minus one the equation of that line would be y equals minus one. If I drew one through here this line here that one there it's going through one so the equation of that line would be what do you think? Okay. That's right, it would be 1. So all horizontal lines are y equals the number. And it's the number where it cuts the y-axis. Okay. So if, I am, if you were asked just to sketch y equals 4, then you'd need to have a number line and you need to go all the way up to 4. And because it's a y equals, it will cut the y-axis. Okay, so because it's a y equals, it'll cut the y-axis. And it'll cut the y-axis at 4. So that would be the sketching that line. Now, what do you think the equation of um, the x-axis is? Because the x-axis is a horizontal line, isn't it? So the x-axis, well, it cuts the um, the y-axis at what value? That's right. It cuts it at um, at y equals zero. Okay. So all horizontal lines are just y equals the number, and it's the number where it cuts the y-axis.